Continuing the battle of the bites, this week it is Cyber Bites versus Dolphin Bites. Coming up next on Pros and Cons by a Piercer, episode number 62. So stick around. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Dave O. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So when I talk to you about this, I'm talking to a level of expertise as someone who's been in the industry for over 25 years. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, 10 minute book reviews he's posted on or she i'm not sure which you are they have posted on or commented on a number of videos and have been a viewer for a long time and i'd like to thank them for giving me uh this subject so what we're going to be talking about today is two sets of oral piercings i've been calling this the battle of the bites because i plan on kind of going through a number of them and figuring out kind of a pros and cons on a majority of them if there's one that you would like to see done, leave a comment. Um, I do read them and I do take them into account when I am picking topics. And a lot of our topics have come from viewers like you. And that's one of the ways you can definitely support this channel. So please make a comment if you have a topic idea, even if it's not about bites. So what are cyber bites and what are dolphin bites? Uh, cyber bites are a set of labray piercings, basically a medusa and a, a kind of a traditional labray below the bottom of the loop, lip. So you have two basic studs on both sides. Dolphin bites are done a little bit off center, both on each side, traditionally done with a labray stud to give it the look of being like one piece of jewelry. It's done with two labrays. Technically, it could probably be done with a curved barbell, but there's really eh, no advantage to it, and it would probably cause more damage than good. Now, this shouldn't be confused with a dolphin piercing, which is a male genital piercing, and an extremely, extremely, extremely rare male genital piercing. So now that you know what they are, let's go into how I'm going to uh, kind of topic and, and do this. I'm going to basically cover five topics. Those are anatomy, placement, healing, jewelry choices, and living with the piercing. And I'm going to give you points on each one of those and help you make a decision if you're on the fence about getting either or of these piercings. So let's start out with anatomy. With anatomy, pretty much everybody has the anatomy to do both these piercings. The only concern I would have when it comes into anatomy is how much contact the jewelry is actually going to have with gums and teeth. Uh, one of the problems with Medusa piercings and upper lip piercings is often to place them, they have to be on that gum line. That can put you at a higher risk of gum erosion. So that is something that you definitely want to check out have your piercer take a look at it and mention it to them. With dolphin piercings, uh, because you're going on the lower lip, you can adjust more downward, even though most of them are done right at the edge above the gum line. Um, you know, your anatomy really dictates where you want to place that and what's going to work best. So that brings us on to placement. With placement, the three things we always consider is A, where it's going to heal correctly and fit into the body and look good. B, where is it going to do the least amount of damage or have the risk of damage to gums and teeth? Three is how much is it going to interrupt your day-to-day -day life as far as ingesting food and drinks and etc. So with the cyber, because it's on both sides, it's going to interrupt eating, it's going to interrupt talking, it's going to interrupt drinking a lot more than the other, than the uh, dolphin's going to. Also, because as I mentioned earlier, it's difficult to place a Medusa where it doesn't have contact with that gum line. We like to put things above or below if possible. 
uh, it is at a higher risk of causing issues and should be adjusted accordingly. They should try to match them as much as possible, but in some cases, that just isn't going to work to your benefit. With the dolphin, uh, well, and one more thing on the uh, on cyberbites. We generally try to place them so they're as dead center as possible. Keep in mind, when we mark something, what our goal is, is that at arm's length, they look like they match and they look like they're straight. When you look at things up close, because usually your face kind of goes this way or that way, or try to measure from one side to the other, often that will not line up. It's more of a visual trick than anything else in working into your anatomy. With dolphins uh, bites, basically because we're working with the lower lip, uh, they're generally pretty close together, but they're kind of evenly off center on the bottom. What I've been requested to do them in the past, I generally try to mark a middle section to kind of figure out where the, it would look best or centered, have the person take a look at it and go, hey, does that look like the center to you? Ask a second opinion if you got a friend, whatever. Keep a good look at it. Then we space it roughly a quarter to an eighth of an inch to a quarter away from that center dot on each side so that it's even both this way and this way. And that brings us on to healing. Both of these are going to have kind of the same healing rate. Often when you do sets, you're going to have additional uh, kind of frustration, et cetera, because you're going to see more swelling. With this one, cyber bites are going to probably be more of a pain in the ass to heal than dolphins. And the reason being is that it's going to affect your top lip and your lower lip. You're probably going to be seeing swelling in both places. It's going to interrupt eating and talking and et cetera uh, during the healing process. Dolphins, they're going to be pretty much the same as it would be if you were healing out a LeBray stud. There'll be a, maybe a little bit more discomfort because there's two of them opposed to just one. Jewelry choices. Both of these piercings tend to just stick to LeBray studs. Technically, I guess you could put rings in a dolphin piercing, but it kind of defeats the purpose of a dolphin of it looking like it's entering and exiting two points with one piece of jewelry. That's kind of the look that we're, we're supposedly going for. So with this one, you're kind of limited to LeBray style studs. Um, technically, you can wear rings, but I really wouldn't advise it. Having a bunch of rings in that part of your body is going to be a huge amount of frustration and et cetera. And if you want that look on your lower lip, I would suggest doing two vertical LeBrays opposed to doing to LeBray or to doing uh, dolphins. So that brings to the last one, living with the piercings. Both of these, uh, I would say out of the two, as far as reaction, employment, et cetera, they will affect it. But for one reason or another, it seems like people are a little more accepting of the dolphin bites than they are of the cyber bites. There's something about having that additional visual effect that kind of uh, affects people a little bit more. It looks more like you're more hardcore, more into it, so to speak. As far as uh, after eating, et cetera, of course, the cybers are going to probably interrupt eating a little bit more, but over time you will adapt to it. Um, than say the, the dolphins. The dolphins tend to be kind of an easy piercing to heal. They act kind of like a traditional LeBray. There's just two of them there. So it's not as big of a hassle per se. Well, that's all I have to say on this subject today. I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, hey, leave a comment. If you have either of these piercings and would like to share your experience, leave a comment. If you have a question about this or you feel like I need to expand on something or you have something to add, leave a comment. In other words, leave a comment. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it because we like it when you like it, of course. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the uh, subscription and click on that notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a video. We post roughly three to four to five videos. We'll focus on education about tattooing and body piercing. If you like swag and you like to look stylish and have cool things, check out our merch store. Plus, you know, you may be sitting on the couch with nothing to do. So why not shop? Check that out. Links, links are in the description. I'll also probably put up a card and there's the merch shelf down below. 
Till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see you for your body piercing needs in the future. Have a good day, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Stay inside. Or at least away from people. And wash your goddamn hands.